Hello everyone, this is Severus Snape and today we'll be doing the Pottermore Hogwarts House sorting quiz. Basically, we are going to be sorted into the house, but I have to say I am confident that I will be placed back into Slytherin. I do not want to join your fan club about Harry Potter, that is cringe. So now we begin. What would you least like to be called selfish? Oh, hold on. I think that, there we go. Selfish. I am not selfish. I have done everything I could to help Mr. Potter. When you're dead, what do you want people to do when they think of you? Hmm. I don't care of what people think of me when I'm dead. It's when I'm alive that counts. That is true. When I'm dead, I want people to remember me as the good, the great, the wise, and the bold. I think the great Severus Snape has a good ring to it even though I don't have an ego like Mr. Potter. If you could make a potion that would go into you one thing, what would it be? Oh, this hurts. This hurts. Four goblets are placed before you. Which do you drink? The golden potion that gives off bright sunspots that dance around the room. That's not good. The silvery glittery potion that sparkles as if containing round diamonds. A thick potion smells of plums and chocolate. A black inky potion that gives off fumes that make you see strange visions. I think... I think I'll take the silvery glittery potion. I... It is all very concerning. Which instrument is most pleasing to your ear? I am quite fond of the violin. Thank you very much. You enter a magical garden. What do you look at first? Alright, the twinkling eyes give me flashbacks to Dumbledore's legitimates. So a silver tree with golden apples would suffice. Four boxes are set before you, which do you open? Let's see, a plain jet black box with a silver room that you know to be the mark of Melon. A golden box with carved feet that won't seek with knowledge and unbearable temptation to luck within. A plain pewter box that says I open only for the way. A tortoise box that sounds like something living and squeaking inside. I prefer not to take care of it. So I think this one, it is a high honor, but I also, I'll take this one. I do love knowledge. Which smell is most appealing to you? Home, the sea, fresh parchment, a log, of fire, I am pond. I am very fond of a fresh parchment. A troll breaks into the headmaster's study again. Order the following items in the order that you would serve them. Dragon pox cure that the headmaster has nearly completed. Student records going back a thousand years. A book of indecipherable rooms thought to have been owned by Melon. I would save the book first. And I also would save the cure. So, cure book records. What would you rather be? Trusted, liked, praised, feared, envied, intim imitated. Trusted for once in my life. No one trusts me. Which of the following do you have the most trouble dealing with? Hunger, being ignored, cold, boredom. This hurts too much. If you could have a superpower, which would you choose? Read minds. I already know that. Invisibility, change the past. 
I'm I'm taking this one instantly. Which of the following would you most like to study? Centaur, more people, ghosts, werewolves, vampires, goblins, and trolls. I am quite fond of vampires myself. Which subject at Hogwarts would you most be interested in studying? It's obvious potions. Where's the potions? This is disappointing. So I guess I will take Transfiguration so I can turn Mr. Potter into a pocket watch. You and your friends need to cross a bridge guarded by a river troll. He insists that one of you fight him before you can cross. What do you do? Well, I think draw to see who fights is the best option. That way everyone has a chance to participate. Anyways, you know that a fellow house mother cheated on the test. Fifteen points will be deducted. You got second highest grade in your class. Your housemate has the highest Professor Flitwick confronts you and asks if they were cheating, what would you do? I would do... I would do this. I would... Uh, which path do you take? A twisting, leafy path through the woods, a dark lantern-lit alley. I do actually like Oh, well, there's also this, so... Uh, which nightmare would scare you the most? I had a nightmare involving Voldemort and a towel. It's disgusting. None of your friends or family know who you are, being trapped in the dark with an eye peering at you through the keyhole, being caught up high with no hold handholds, being forced to speak in a funny voice so everyone laughs at you. I'm not if this ever happened to me I will be resigning immediately or cursing the person responsible. You're walking down the street late at night and you hear a cry that you're fairly sure has a magical sauce. What do you do? Withdrawn to the shadows Revealing offensive and defensive spells might be appropriate. I will instantly select that one. A muggle approaches you and says you're a wizard. How do you react? Express if a muggle thinks I'm a wizard, then I will call the mental hospital or the ministry. If you could pick any house to be sorted into, which would you pick? Uh, Slytherin, obviously. Of course, I got this. I will always be a Slytherin, no matter what they say. I will forever be a Slytherin and a, Sam and a good example to other Slytherins worldwide. This has been Severus Snape signing off of this muggle website. Goodbye.